currently right now I'm working with I believe about five razors um, and the reason why I have so many is because like I said you you come into different situations so the good thing about you know working with you know Feather and Jatai is that you have the different handles that cover different things so let's take this SS razor for example it has the lip on it so the blade is not really applying pressure to the skin. This pressure is actually gonna lie within the handle and the skin because it has that lip there. So this one was more, for me, is designed, or more so designed for sensitive skin um, to help. And if you're a beginner, a beginner barber and as, you know, just beginning to shave and trying to build that clientele up and you don't really have that that feeling of the pressure yet, of how much pressure to apply while you're shaving, I would recommend going with the SS. Um, it's great for that situation. Now that we talked about the SS, let's talk about the DX model. This is another great razor for, you know, guys that's already seasoned, that has a lot of clientele that already, you know, get shaves and, and things like that. And then it also, like I said, if you're in the, in the salon where, or in the shop where it's a lot of guys in there that's doing shaves, but they're using a different type of razor or a different type of handle. You pull this out, guarantee you clients are paying attention. Clients want to know what everybody else is using. And so if you pull this out, it, it's a great eye catcher for one, but also, you know, it, it's a, it has a great weight to it, feels great in your hand. And, you know, it's one of those things where, um, the SS is more on the sensitive side, where I would recommend for beginning barbers to use, and the uh, the DX is something where you know the older school, the more traditional guys like this razor, and they they really like the feel of it and the look of it. Um, also, I have the straight. This is the SS straight, and I use this a lot for underneath the neck uh, neck area and the natural fold area. Um, because that area tends to be a little more sensitive. Also, for hard to reach places, I don't have the, the uh, handle in my way when I'm trying to go in underneath the nose or things like that, I don't have to worry about folding it. So I'll pick up a, you know, a straight, and also I have the straight uh, DX razor as well. So I'm, I'm working now with about five or six razors, and it's just a good thing to have because we are carpenters, we work with our hands, we have to have a lot of tools to do a lot of different jobs in a lot of different situations. So I recommend picking up a DX and an SS, and I recommend working with one of the already other being a straight arm folding. I understand that sometimes times are hard. Sometimes our industry is not as booming as other times. But if you had to pick one razor, I would recommend if you love the wood, uh, the DX model, also look into the Pearl DX model. It's a little cost efficient than the, than the wood uh, handle. And I recommend starting out your kit with that one and then progressively moving forward and let your shaves be your, your driving point to buying the, the next one. You know, take $5 off of each shave and put it away to be able to buy another razor. And once you do that, then as you grow your shaving kit, you'll understand the benefit of having more than one. Thank you.